Happy Wednesday and good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Guess what? It's that time of the afternoon where you get an update on the tropics. I'll let you know exactly what's happening, what we're expecting. If we have any tropical trouble headed towards Southeast Texas and the Houston area. Remember, you can get this update every afternoon, usually around or shortly after 4 p.m. We will have this update as long as we are in hurricane season. And of course, hurricane season runs all the way through the end of November. So we We've got a long ways to go. We've also got a lot of Saharan dust out there across the Atlantic. You can see it pushing off of the west coast of Africa. This is actually a good thing because dusty air is dry air. So this dry air kind of gets pulled up into the upper levels of the atmosphere out there over the Atlantic. And with that drier air in place, it becomes a little more difficult for these tropical disturbances that could turn into tropical depressions or tropical storms or hurricanes to develop. So as long as we have this plume of Saharan dust pushing west, it's going to be more difficult for us to have any action of any consequence in the Atlantic. So for that reason, we actually don't have any tropical systems that we're monitoring all across the Atlantic. Now, on the other hand, we've got tons of warm water out there. Temperatures, sea surface temps well into the 80s all across the eastern, central, western Atlantic. So we definitely have the warm water in place to support tropical development. But with that dust out there, it makes it a little bit harder. So the good news is that we are not expecting tropical cyclone formation across the Atlantic for the next seven days. So that is great news. That goes for the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico as well. All is quiet for the moment and we're not expecting any tropical cyclones to form for the next week or so. Up towards San Juan, down to Caracas, not really seeing anything that would be concerning. Also over into the Yucatan Peninsula, Cuba, into the Gulf of Mexico, looking pretty quiet. We've got a little bit of convection across the western Gulf, a few showers and storms there, but it's not expected to form into anything that would become a concern for tropical development. So we're looking great right now. Nothing heading towards Southeast Texas anytime soon. I'd say for at least the next week, we should be free and clear of any tropical activity here. We do have a couple of disturbances though that we're monitoring in the Eastern Pacific. Eastern Pacific has been pretty active the last few weeks and now we've got two more systems that we are monitoring. These are basically tropical waves for now, just broad areas of low pressure, showers and storms out there. They're trying to get more organized and one of these systems does have a much higher shot of that organization and potentially turning into a tropical depression or a tropical storm. It will be this area in red that has a 20% chance for formation over the next two days, but this tropical disturbance has a high 70% chance for development over the next seven days as it drifts west northwest. So much higher shot for development with that one. But the good news, it's moving away from Mexico. It's moving away from the US as well. Behind that one, we've got another potential tropical disturbance that could turn into a storm or maybe a hurricane but the chance for this one developing very low. 0% over the next two days and only a 20% shot over the next seven days. Of course, we have pushed into the month of July and we do have particular areas that we monitor where there could be a higher shot for a tropical system developing. And of course, one of those areas would be the Gulf of Mexico. So we monitor the entire Gulf. Usually if something develops, it would head either north or northwest towards Mexico or South Texas or north up towards the Alabama, Mississippi Gulf Coast. But right now, things are pretty quiet. So that is certainly good news. And of course, we will be watching it closely. Also down around the Caribbean, the northwestern section of the Caribbean, we normally have a higher chance for development here. A system could develop and push up towards Cuba or the Yucatan Peninsula. But at this point, we're not seeing anything developing there either. Also, the west southwestern portion of the Atlantic, also a hot spot for the month of July for possible development that could track northwest up towards the Carolinas or maybe make a beeline off to the northeast, but at this point still pretty quiet there. And we also monitor the southwestern portion of the Atlantic west, southwest and south central portion of the Atlantic off to the east of the Lesser Antilles. But all of these areas remain on the quiet side. Of course, we've had three named storms so far for the season. Arlene, Brett and Cindy. The next name on the list would be Don, then Emily. 
but we've got a long ways to go, as I mentioned, in this hurricane season. So even though things are quiet now, we're going to be monitoring for that potential development, especially as we get closer to August and September, because that's normally when we have about two thirds of our tropical systems that we would have in an entire season during those two months. So that's our most active period, and we haven't even made it there yet. So of course, even though things are quiet now, we're going to continue monitoring it day by day. So make sure that you are reviewing your hurricane plan. Make sure you have tools and supplies for an emergency in case a tropical cyclone were to head our way. Make sure you have the insurance that you need. When it's quiet now, it's a great time to be reviewing all of those things. Also, grab our Fox 26 weather app. You can get the latest tropical weather, forecast cones, a lot of other features you can find on there dealing with the tropics. And of course, don't forget, you can always find out anything you want or need to know about our local weather. We've got quite a few showers and storms around for the next few days, and then it's all about the heat. So you can find out any heat alerts that may be coming, and also you can track all of that rain on the radar. But as far as the tropics are concerned, Southeast Texas looking good right now. Nothing heading towards us. We'll just be monitoring those two systems out in the Eastern Pacific. All right, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade.